praise to you Lord Jesus Christ Yesterday, before our meditation, uh, I shared uh, an image uh, with you, that of a camper van. I showed uh, us around in our small chapel, uh, which we use during the week. And the nature of a, of a van life is that it takes us to places which we haven't visited without uh, uh, too much planning. That is why, uh, occasionally, uh, we are using Pope Francis's instructions. And this week, with him, we are taken uh, to the theme of marriage, the dynamic of married life, which, and the life of the family, which we understood yesterday that the local church is the extension of our family life is the extension of our own personal life and the two often overlap. Today the Pope highlights the family as the place for growth. He starts with the point in uh, Chapter 29, Good News and the Family. The family is founded on marriage. Through their free and faithful act of love, Christian spouses testify to the fact that marriage, insofar it is a sacrament, is the foundation of the family and strengthens spousal union and the couple's mutual gift of self. It is as though matrimony were first a human sacrament where the person discovers himself, understands himself in relation to others and in relationship of love which is capable of receiving and giving. Perhaps we can pause just for a second and interrupt the Holy Father, that the Church is also a place when the Christian person discovers itself, the person who is filled with the Holy Spirit, marked by the life of God. We discover our own character in our Church community. And we understand our relationship to others in a deeper way. In the Church we also discover the depth of our love, which is capable of giving and receiving. Giving and receiving not only human love, but divine love and compassion. But let us continue with the Pope. Spousal and familial love also clearly reveals the vocation of the person to love in a unique way and forever, and that the trials, sacrifices and crises of couples, as well as the family, as a whole represent pathways for growth in goodness, truth and beauty. We learn to love in a unique way forever and through trials and sacrifices still we can grow in goodness, truth and beauty. And this applies to our life in the Church too. In marriage we give ourselves completely without calculation or reserve sharing everything, gifts and hardship, trusting in God's providence. This is the experience that the young can learn from their parents and grandparents. It is an experience of faith in God and of mutual trust, profound freedom and holiness 
because holiness presumes giving oneself with fidelity and sacrifice every day of one's life. Perhaps the most fulfilling part of adult life, adult Christian life, is when we have this experience in the Church that we realize our responsibility that young people, children, unconsciously pick up what they see around us. And if we trust in God, even when we are facing serious challenges in life or even in church life, um, this sacrifice of remaining faithful has a deep mark on the next generation. Daily faithfulness is handed over to them. The Pope finishes with a very practical and realistic observation. That's why we should not spiritualize or over-spiritualize our Christian life because it is still a down-to-earn life. It has it, its downs too. Always different, there are problems in marriage, he says. Always different points of view, jealousy, arguing. But we need to say to young spouses that they should never end the day without making peace. The sacrament of marriage is renewed in this act of peace after an argument, a misunderstanding, a hidden jealousy, even a sin. Making, making peace gives unity to the family and tell young people, young couples, that it is not easy to go down this path, but is a very beautiful path, very beautiful. We need to tell them. That is why it's so, so important to learn, learn this fundamental rule uh, in church life, that if there is a conflict, if there is an argument, uh, people can fall out in their relationship. The Pope warns that there is no reason to leave a church community just because one feels offended and having grudges and not going to that church in order to not to see this and this person. That's why it is important for us to have daily penance for, for the hurt which we can cause to one another. But let us sum up uh, what the Pope says, what we applied to our church life as the extended family life of ours. In these meditations, in, the, in, uh, in chapter 29, Good News of the Family, in the Pope's book, Meeting Christ in the Sacrament, we are called to discover the center of our life, the real center of our life. And when we live together with God, when we live a worshipping life, this is the greatest discovery that all the center of our life is not simply within us, within our own family or personal circles, but it is within the life of the Church. And the altar what we have in the church is a reminder of this center. <laughs>